The Alameda County Board of Supervisors will be meeting with the A's once again as they talk about the sale and lease extension of the Coliseum. Ground Force's Michael Thomas is in the newsroom with an update. Michael, what's going on now? Hey, good morning, everyone. Well, there are lots going on, and Alameda County officials actually tell Cron Force Dan Kerman that today's meeting could lead to three more years of the A's staying in Oakland, or at least until their new stadium is built in Las Vegas. And when it comes to the sale of the Coliseum, well, that's still up in the air. The meeting is set to happen at 10.30 this morning, and will include Oakland Mayor Shing Tao's Chief of Staff, Council Member Rebecca Kaplan, Alameda County Supervisor David Hubert, and officials from the Oakland A's. The last meeting that they held regarding the team's lease and the sale of the Coliseum is said to have went well. Right now, the team is considering signing a three-year lease extension. However, the City of Oakland is suggesting that in return for that extension, that the team leave behind its branding and logos when it does officially leave the East Bay. Now, it it also wants the team to play an active role when it comes to the MLB bringing an expansion team back to the city, or excuse me, to the city actually, I should say. And when it comes to the sale of the Coliseum, Alameda County officials want the team to sell its half of it to the African American Sports and Entertainment Group in Oakland. More details are set to be discussed about that today, along with increases and changes to the current lease agreement in regards to how much the A's pay and the current revenue sharing. Right now, the team's last payment of $45 million for its portion of the Coliseum to the County of Alameda is due in April, although the title of that may not be handed over right away, and that's due to ongoing legal battles between the County of Alameda and the communities for better environment. So as we get more details this morning regarding today's meeting and if a lease expansion is signed or a deal is made regarding their portion of the Coliseum, we'll keep you updated. Live in the newsroom, I'm Michael Thomas. Daria James, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Michael, thank you.